Hello, my name is Mark Fitzgibbon and welcome to my vlog. A lot of people ask me, Mark, I really want to start a vlog of my own, but I don't know where to start, what to buy, what camera do I use, what is it gonna cost, blah, 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 blah. Well, Fuma and I have partnered up to create a four-part web series aimed to answer all of your questions. It will be called Fitzy's Introductory Guide for Becoming an Influencer, otherwise known by the popular acronym Fig for Buy working on it. So this is part one of four of the web series and today I will be showing you how I make my videos, what equipment I use and some little tricks for you if you'd like to get started. It's really easy to produce content nowadays. Basically all you need is a phone, a good internet connection and a thick skin for those internet trolls that are out there. But there's a cream for that. Currently I'm just using my phone. A regular smartphone that can shoot in high definition. Vital. HD or nothing. When I started making videos nine years ago in 2012, everybody had blackberry curves. You had to sell an arm, both your kidneys and your mother's lung to get a phone that shoots in high definition. So most vloggers used those DSLR cameras. And yes, you can use that if you have one. I mean, I also use my DSLR sometimes, especially when I want to use multiple angles. Oh. But if you are starting out and you don't have a DSLR, your phone will be fine. It's also good to use a tripod stand so that your phone or your camera is nice and stable, unlike my mental state. Lighting is very important, especially for video. Fortunately, now that every second person and their auntie has TikTok, ring lights have become super, super cheap. So get a light, prop it behind your phone or your camera, and your face will glow and the followers will come. But if you don't have a light and you don't want to buy one, I started by shooting in front of a window. Just make sure you shoot your video when it's noon or when it's bright out. Not directly in the sun, we don't want to look like Casper the unfriendly highlighter. Sit in front of a window and that should light up your face enough for video. Finally, you don't want your video to be too long. People get bored very quickly nowadays. Instant gratification is a top priority when consuming content online. If you linger on for too long, they're gonna click away and go watch PewDiePie or someone else. So make sure you run your footage through some editing software. Make sure to cut out all the unnecessary bits. Cut out those dead spaces in between sentences like, you know, when you are waiting or thinking about something to say next. Cut them all out. It makes the video nice and short and to the point. You can add background music. You can add color filters, sharpen the video, add text, transitions, and you can even change your voice. Now I use Sony Vegas Pro for Windows on a desktop computer, but there are so many video editing apps that you can download on your phone. Just make sure you have a good enough internet connection so that you can publish those videos once you are done. That is all for today's video. If you have any further questions about how to start a vlog or any of the equipment that I use, please leave a question for me in the comment section below and I'll answer your questions in a later video. That's all for now. See you next week for part two of the web series. Fig for bye. Really working on the acronym there. And happy posting.